This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shirley and welcome back to my channel. Do you know the difference between original and fake Casio calculator? A genuine Casio calculator is obviously of high quality. The hard case slides on easily and the edge around the calculator is curved and smooth. Most importantly, the buttons are more sensitive when you press it and all the functions are working properly as expected. You don't want to risk getting the wrong answers for your exam, right? In this video, I'll be teaching you on how to solve questions using Casio calculator for additional mathematics. As for the materials, I've inserted the link in the description below. You may download it and print it out for your own self-practice if you want to. For those who still haven't gotten this calculator yet, don't fret. You may still learn from this video. At the end of this video, if you wish to buy this calculator, I will show you how to buy it from Shopee Casio Official Store. Alright, let's get started. In this video, you will learn about laws of logarithms, finding value of logarithms, and solving problems involving logarithms using SPM pass year and trial exam questions. I will also show you how to use the Casio Class Swiss calculator to get your answer fast and accurate. An equation in index form can be written in logarithm form. So when it is in index form, it will be n is equals to a power x. So a is the base and x is the index or power. So when we want to change this index form to become logarithm form, so you just put log and then base a n equals to x. So the x has become the on the right hand side, okay, which is the index. Yeah. So now let's look at the laws of logarithm. So for a, log a, log base a x y equals to log a x plus log a y. So if this is times, so when you want to split it into two different logs, it becomes plus. Then if it's divide, so log base a x over y is equal to log base a x minus log base a y. So we minus. Then if it's log a x to the power of n, this n we can bring it down to become n log a x. So if you want to change the base to another base, so we put log c top and bottom and then b on top and a at the bottom so b on top and a at the bottom so become log cb over log ca and if it's log aa if these two are the same is the same number so equals to one so let's say if it's log 2 2 is equals to one log 10 10 is also one okay then for f log a1 so log base anything and then here is one so you will get zero okay and for g log a b okay so if you want to change interchanger this b go down and the a become the b okay so become one over log b a okay one over log b a so it's very important to memorize all the laws of logarithms before you attempt the questions let's look at this example Find the value of each of the following. So for this one, we look at the numbers given. So here is 1, 2, 8, and this is 4. So 1, 2, 8, and 4, we can change to base 2. Okay, so now I'm going to change the base of the log to become log base 2. So log 2 on top and log 2 at the bottom. And then 1, 2, 8 is on top and 4 is at the bottom like this. Okay, and then after that, we are going to change this 1, 2, 8 to become in terms of base 2. So 1, 2, 8 is 2 power 7. Then at the bottom will be log 2. So 4 is 2 power 2. And then we bring down the power. So it becomes 7 log 2, 2 over 2 log 2, 2. So we know that if it's log 2, 2, you see this 2 and 2 is the same. So it becomes 1. Then the bottom log 2, 2 also 1. So the answer is 7 over 2. Now I'm going to show you how to get your answer using the Casio Class Swiss calculator. So you go to the lock button which is here. Okay, so lock, so the base is 4. 
and then go to the right so key in one two eight then you press equals so you get seven over two so your answer is correct okay let's look at this question when we see a question we look at the base first this base three and this is base seven so base three base seven so we are 49 so 49 we can actually change to base seven okay so this one i'm going to change the log to become log base seven so log base seven so 49 over log base seven three and then this one is times so for this one we i'm going to change this to become so square root of 81 is nine right nine okay so equals to okay so this 49 this log seven 49 is seven square so over log seven three then this one is log seven so nine is three square okay so now we bring down the power so two log seven seven okay then over log seven three then times this one the two bring down so log seven three okay and then we see what we can cancel we can cancel this and also this right top and bottom so we will get four okay four log seven seven and this is also one okay log seven seven is one so two times two is four and this is the answer okay so now we're going to double check our answer using a casio casuist calculator okay so go to the lock okay lock button then you key in the three and then go to the right and then up to that 49 and then go to the right and then after that times then lock okay base is seven and then after that go to the right okay square root 81 and then you press equals so the answer is four let's look at this question first we see we have log base 2 base 3 and base 4 and then we have 3 4 and 8 so this 4 and 8 we can actually change to base 2 so i'm going to change all to become log base 2 okay so equals so this one's log base 2 3 times this is log base 2 top and log base 2 at the bottom so 4 on top and 3 at the bottom then times log base 2 then over log base 2 so 8 on top and 4 at the bottom so equals to okay see what you can cancel first this one you can cancel this one you can cancel okay and then this one also you can cancel with this so what's left log base 2 8 log base 2 8 okay so this 8 is actually 2 power 3 so we bring down the power so become log 2 2 and log 2 2 is 1 so the answer is 3 Okay, so now we're going to use the Casio Classics calculator to double check our answer. So go to the log button and then base 2 and then 3. And then after that, go to the right times with again log button and then base 3 and then 4. Okay, and then times with log button again and then base 4 and then 8. Okay, so you get the answer 3. Let's look at this question from Penang Trial 2021 paper, paper 1, question 13. And this is 5 marks. So 5 marks means your working will be very long. Okay, so we need to know how to do it, how to do the working before we use the Casio calculator to get the answer. Okay, so uh, let's look at the base. The base that we have here is base 3, base 9 and base 3. Which means that all the logs we're going to change to base 3. Okay, so log, this is already in base 3, so we write back the same. And then minus so this one we have to change to log base 3 and over log base 3 so this one will be x squared at, on top and 9 at the bottom so plus then is 6 log base 3 x equals to 2 okay so we have log base 3 3 x plus 4 minus so this one the 4 right the 2 you can bring it down times with the, the 7 we get 14 Then the bottom one will be log 3, will be 3 square, right? 3 square. The square, we can bring it down, okay? Become 2 in front. Then after that, this one is plus. So this one is 6 log base 3, x equals to 2, okay? So now this one, log 3, 3 is 1, okay? So let's do this, log 3, 3x three plus 4, then minus. So this 14 and 2, you can cancel off, become 7 here. Okay, 7 log 3x plus 6 log 3x equals to 2. Okay, so we can solve this, you see, this one negative 7 log 3x and plus 6 log 3x. So we get minus 1 log 3x, right? So log 3 
3x plus 4 minus log 3x equals to 2. Okay, now you see uh, the log 3 and log 3 is the same. So we're going to combine them under one base, okay? One log base 3. So log base 3 of 3x plus 4 because it's minus, so we divide, okay, equals to 2. So now this is logarithm form. So we're going to change it to index form. So this base 3, I'm going to move it to the right. It becomes 3 power 2. This is 3x plus 4 over x, okay? So here would be 9. Then the x, I move it to the right, it becomes 9 times x. So here is 3x plus 4. And then after that, we're going to solve the value of x. Find the value of x, okay? So 4 here. So 9x minus 3x, we'll get 6x, right? 6x. So x is 4 over 6. So 4 over 6 is, when you simplify, it becomes 2 over 3. Okay? And that is the answer. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to check your answer using the Casio class Swiss calculator. Okay, so now let's look at the calculator. Go to lock, press the lock button, and then base 3, and then go to the right, 3x plus 4. Okay, so 3x plus 4, and go to the right, so we minus, so 7, press the lock button, so base is 9, and then x square. So x, and then square, Okay, and then after that, go to the right, plus 6, then lock button, base 3, and then x. Okay, then the equals, you don't press the equals. Huh? We're going to use alpha calculate. Okay, see the equal sign here? So alpha calculate. Okay, so you see there's an equal here already, then equals to 2. Okay, so now we're going to find the value of x. We're not going to press the equals first. We're going to press shift, okay, shift, and then solve. Okay, calculate press this so you press equals now okay so now it's initializing okay the answer is 0 0.6667 okay so let's uh, let's find the value of 2 over 3 in decimal okay so go to ac okay so 2 divided by 3 so press equals then you press sd yay so the answer is correct this question is from SPM 2017 paper paper 1 question 6 and this is 3 marks so first we look at the base the base is locked base m then there's a third m so i'm going to change all to become log base m so become log this is log m 324 minus log m over log m this is 2m and then third m is m power half equals to 2 then Okay, for this fraction, the bottom one is half because the half bring down, then log m, m is 1, right? So it's half. Okay, then the next step. So this half, I'm going to bring it up. So it becomes times 2. Okay, then this 2, I can actually bring it up. It becomes power, okay? So log m... 324 minus so this log m 2m whole thing square okay this whole thing have to be squared then equals to 2 okay so now i'm going to combine them under one base log base m okay so become 324 over this 4m square so equals to 2 so this is in logarithm form i'm going to change it to become index form so 324 over 4m square is equals to m square. Okay? So this 4m square, I'm going to bring it up to the right side. So become 4m power 4. Then this 4, I'm going to bring over to the left. 324 divided by 4, we get 81 equals to m power 4. So we all know that, okay? This um, 81, okay, is something, a number power 4. Okay, so what number power 4? So this is 3 power 4 equals to m power 4. So since the power is the same, we can compare the base. So m is equals to 3. And this is the answer. Now I'm going to teach you how to use the Casio Classes Calculator to get your answer in less than one minute. So go to the lock button. Okay, so the m I treat it as x. Okay, then 324. Then go to the right. And then minus, so log. Okay, so the base is third m, right? So it'll be third x. Okay, then go to the right, 
So 2m will be 2x and then equals, we're going to use alpha, calculate, equals to 2. Okay, then after that, I'm going to use shift and then solve. Okay, and then you press equals. So be like processing. Just wait for a few seconds and then the answer will appear on the screen. Okay, yes, so our answer x is equal to 3 is correct. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching until the end and I hope that you will benefit from this video especially on how to use the Casio calculator to get your answers fast and accurate. If you have decided to buy this calculator, I will walk you through on how to buy it from Shopee. First, you click on the Shopee link in the description below using your computer or mobile app. If you're using a computer, you will see this page. The price shown is based on the latest price and it depends on when you click on the link. Sometimes the price can be lower and sometimes can be higher. You also get an exclusive free gift from Casio which may also change from time to time. You also get free shipping whereby the item will be sent directly to your house. Just make sure that you buy from Casio.os which is Casio official store to avoid any counterfeits. Oh yeah! Don't forget to use the discount vouchers from Shopee yeah? Till we meet again in the next video. Bye!